shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> no, I feel it. Young <laughs> Falong, K Global, we're here with the one and only Mo Banga. Yeah, it was cool with you. Appreciate you, brother. You. Hell yeah. Legend, dude. Um, bro's got some legendary placements. EBK Jabo, Joe Blow, Chippas. That's off the top. PT Mula. Who else? Uh, Young X, fucking oh, yep. uh, Sausalino, uh, Sir Cloud. Shit, who else did I do? Nino. Um, who else have I done? I've done so many people over all this time. I almost got to go through shit. Uh, KD the Goer. Hell yeah. Uh, fuck. It's been a lot. That's raw as fuck. Hell yeah. You got some legendary placements. How long have you been making beats and producing? Uh, shit, I've really only been like really producing for like the last like six years. But like I started fucking with the shit when I was like 19. Hell yeah. I used to play football and shit. And then the homie... Uh, he was like, yeah, I got hurt. And he was like, yeah, man, you want to fucking, uh, you want to learn how to make beats? I can't really show you, but I'll get you the program. Hell yeah. And you feel me? He gave me the program. And what, I which which program was that? Like FL7. Oh, shit. Early <laughs> ages. Yeah, yeah. So he just threw me that shit. And I started running with it from there, fucking with it. I used to have roommates and shit when I was in college. Hell yeah. Fucking, we used to fuck around. We used Hell to yeah. rap and shit. And then we like made a little tape and sent it to Thizzler. And they was going, yeah, they was going to place it. And I was like, all right, man, Did they? should fuck with it. Nah. Nah. It wasn't a good enough song. But we we put it together like it was a solid song. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. And one of the homies, was he was over there at Thizzler at the time. Hell yeah. he was like, yeah. Where, cool. uh, where did you go to school at? Uh, I went to school in Fairfield, uh, Rodriguez. Okay. Angela Rodriguez. Hell yeah. That's um, what's up. And then um, I went to college for a little bit at Santa Rosa Junior College. And then nice. I came out to SAC. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. That's dope, bro. Yeah. What'd you study? Uh, I was trying to be an accountant, bro. Nah, like, oh, yeah. My, business and accounting and shit. Nah, I, I feel mean, it, bro. Thinking about music shit. But I've been playing instruments forever. I was in band in high school. Hell yeah. Hell of shit. So, what, what do you play? Uh, piano, trumpet, um, a little bit of like the drums and shit, like a little Hell guitar. Yeah. Like, That's raw as fuck. And I could read music, so, you know. That's dope, you know, bro. Kind of That's why your shit be... Hitting because you have all the musical background. Bro. <laughs> lot, even my, I don't. I be trying to learn like the basics. You feel me? But mm -hmm. people that I see that are excel excel in actual instruments are killing the producing game. Yeah, that shit is this. You just it's, trans it's, yeah, yeah, it's like translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, yeah, it's a lot of shit, man. But yeah, yeah. Man, you guys, you got some questions here. Yeah, yeah, bro. I just wanted to talk. Um, have you dropped your own project? No, um, I have, but I haven't. It's like um, I put out some beats that I'd already just put out. Kind of yeah. just throw some beats out there so people yeah. could fuck around. But I haven't actually put together a project yet. Like um, I, I've been thinking about it because um, all my homies have done it. You know, like Racimo and yeah. fucking Brody and Triple M. Everybody else is yeah, done it and they they think that shit's lucrative. So I'm like, where well, I need to. Yeah, but, I see um, a lot of the producer tapes going going crazy. Mm -hmm. Like. But yeah, the um, the whole thing with that is, I, I want it to be organic. I don't want to be going and buying shit from people just to make them get on a beat. I want it to be more organic. And right now, I only got a relationship with so many, like like a real relationship with yeah. so many artists. And um, I wouldn't want to just flood the streets with just a project with just them. I want yeah. to like be like exclusive. That's with more fair. People, so hell yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of waiting on some shit, but like. Like we were just saying off the top, like Chippers, like that's a, that's like the homie, that's like a big bro right Bruh, there. Bro, I grew up off NHT boys. They've man, been going I'm crazy, saying, bro. It's crazy, even even getting placed with him and the that's way that I met him foot. and everything, so crazy, bro. Was, tell, tell that story. Like, How did you meet most, Chippers, man? Shit, to be uh, to be honest, I had been chopping it up with his manager for a minute, like through Snapchat and some more shit, and we were sending beats back, and he was like, "Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get some." And I was kicking it with one of my, my close homeboys, like my brother. And uh, he was like, yeah, I got to go drop something off. I got to go. He'd he be selling, you know, yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, he's like, I go do something real quick. Um, you rock with me. So I was like, yeah, it's good. So I rock with him over where we go. And we go to this nice little house and shit. And then fucking, um, he like, uh, yeah, just hop out, bro. You come to the door. Come to the door. Open the door. It's, it's Chip, his manager. That's crazy. And it was like, what? I'm like, what's up with P? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? What's up to him? Hell, Hell shit. yeah. And he like, well, shit, what's up, bro? Nigga, come in. And like, bro, right here. Hell yeah. And he was, was right there. And it was like, damn, we was coming to- That's crazy. Some, so niggas ended up kicking it, playing 2K and hella shit. 
And then, Dang. like, that wasn't even when the placement happened. That's, That's just, like, how the relationship started, you feel me? Like, hella organic, hella cool people, so... You feel me? Um, I don't think you can get more organic than that, bro. Yeah. That's that's raw as fuck. Crazy, crazy. That is crazy. Osmosis. A lot of shit that with me has been like that, man. That's why I like I want to keep it like that. Like I don't. Yeah, don't no force the. Yeah, yeah don't no no force it. Relationships. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like that's what's worked for me the most. Like. The PT shit, like that was through Triple M. I see you got hella placements with him. Yeah, because I was fucks just, with you hella heavy. It was just through Triple M, bro. Um, a Triple he, M. I'm trying to get him on here too, bro. Yeah, that was crazy. You, I'll tap in with him. I hit him. I hit him. You okay, said it for sure. Trying to get on here, he'd yeah, be hella yeah. busy. I know, but yeah, yeah you guys are moving. We're part of the hit team. He's, yeah, the hit team. He started that, and then um, it just brought us all together, and um, we ain't really put too much out, but the songs we have put out have been fire. What, what, what's the so, songs that you guys got together? Me and Triple M did but the one for PT called uh, Thugged Out. That was like the first one. Oh, yeah. Then um, Triple M and uh, Heat Miser did that. Uh, mm, what's the name of that song? I think it's Like Me. Okay. By, uh, that one dude that went viral last year. Then... Um, Brody and uh, me and Savage did the uh, the first EBK J Bo one, the Gates uh, from Hell one. Yeah, yeah, that's that me, one. That's, that's a slot, bro. You guys killed that shit. Yeah, man, that's, that's just hard. That was me and him, and then, uh, whew, yeah, man, I have to. How, how many uh, producers are in the group? Uh, six, six or seven of us. Hell yeah, it's uh, me, Heat Miser, uh, Triple M on the beat, Brody got bands. Um, J Ballin, uh, Trill, I think oh, it might be like two more. Savage and, um, damn, bro, why am I spacing right now? I gotta look at my boy's name. I feel bad. Nah, no worries, <laughs> you're good, bro. You know gotta get the shout out to yeah, him. Like, for well, surely, for surely. On. Let me make sure. Hell yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it's about. That's raw as fuck. You guys oh, be seeing um, Remy. And okay. Trapping, and trapping out the bay. Hell yeah. I was like, I'm forgetting all the names. But yeah, man. You guys are it's making us. bangers, bro. You guys sounding each other loops and shit. Yeah, yeah. basically. We, well, we trying to get more together again and get back in the studio because we did that and we cooked a bunch of shit. That's with so that. dope. Like, that was so Hella deep better. and people just hopping yeah, on. Yeah, literally. We That's just fucking dope, bro. Like, we just was going crazy and shit. But um, we even recorded that day, too. Uh, rest in peace to the homie. We had recorded a couple songs. So, yeah, man. Yeah, but, that's, um, that's we trying dope as fuck. We're trying to Shit, I mean, I'll pull up different. and vlog that shit for you guys. If you guys want to do a cook-up, Hell that'll be yeah, raw as fuck, man, for real. Talk triple in once, once Yeah, triple bro, in, that's up. fucking mm -hmm. dope. What, do you, are you locked in with that. any specific studio? You guys just be cooking at the crib? Uh, we be cooking up at Triple M's, like, specific studio. We was over there at, uh, what was that, Northern, I uh, forget what the name of their studio was, but we was over there, and then... Um, I was in the midst to open up my own studio, but it got pushed back, so we got to put some more money into it. I yeah. feel it. Yeah. Nah, because you want to do it right. Bro. Yeah, exactly. But um, besides that, uh, we, we just be cooking up kind of at Triple M's, like wherever Triple M can get us to pull up. At. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, bro. Well, shit, let's get more of the nitty gritty. Like, uh, what's your go to VST plugins? Shit, I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Don't even use any. None. Right One shot. Right now, I loops. haven't used any any VST plugins. So what are you on straight on the hardware? Check this out. Uh, Racimo and Space on the beat showed me how to make beats off of your phone. No shit. Let me see this. Yeah, I gotta see this. What? Yeah. Right. So they damn, show, this is how you cook in your loops. This is not even a loop. This is a, you see this? this yeah. Is, what, what is it? I, That's a whole beat. Just, this is a whole beat. I just put this Play together. It real quick. Bruh. That's crazy. Crazy, right? That's crazy. So they, so they show they they do it too. So if you can get Racimo a, a space on here, they'll oh, show you yeah, something. Yeah, for sure. Shit, but, uh, That's crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. They they show me how to full do this beats shit. off the phone. Full shit, bro. Damn. And these are like you know stock shits or like Damn. some of it are one shots. You know, like my special sounds that I yeah. like, go to shits. I go to and we're, like one shots are just saved mm -hmm. like on your phone. Literally, Damn. you just, you That's just a can trip. download them into your. That's thing a trip, bro. It's. It makes your beat making process so much quicker, that's, and then I, I can make beats anywhere. So anytime I'm feeling like, oh, I got an idea, yeah. let's stop real quick. Bro, yeah, that's man. crazy as fuck. Uh, yeah. I'm going to for sure to get into that. That's mm -hmm. insane, bro. But yeah, man, it's, it's super easy. It's not even as hard as it, it seems, but once they show me how to do it, like, and then it's like, oh, this shit's... 
And so there's no little, VSTs. There's, that's, there's some you don't even cook in? Are you too. cooking on FL at all or just money? I money? haven't cooked. So I still cook on FL. Yeah. Or, and I can cook on anything. Like, yeah. I like Ableton is really cool. Um, Multi dog, Logic, bro. That's Logic crazy. It's cool. But like, you cooking on I like Logic dogs. sounds. Logic sounds be hella like they sound hella different. But um, yeah, I've I can, noticed I can that use too. whatever to cook on. Honestly, it's not. They're all the same. But yeah, I've been. I've always so when I first started doing this shit, I met. Um, I used to date DJ Two Raw, uh, his sister. No shit. So like one day he came through and he was listening to some beats. This is when I was early on, and he was just like. Damn, I just had did a whole project. I um, Teo, uh, I like this. I produced the whole project, and he had um, posted it. He was like, "I just hosted a whole project, bro, and your beats sound damn near like my boy beats. Like you could have done the project." And I'm like, "Damn, it's like that." And he showed me shit. I was like, "Oh yeah, bro, that you, you do yeah. sound kind of mine, kind of hell of shit." And I was like, "He dope though. He's dope as fuck." And um, he's like, "What you need to do, bro? Start networking." He's like, "So I'm gonna start putting you around people." So like he yeah. instantly. He, he put me at this party. It was like a pool party, but like Cool John and I am Sue. Like everybody, That's real. Everybody pulled up. Hell I yeah. got to introduce myself, and like not as like, you know, just a person. I was like, nah, Mo Banger. Like, yeah. I produced. Hell yeah. And um, he, I started doing that shit. And literally from there, like shit just kind of started clicking. Like, That's dope. Started getting like people hitting me. And then I linked with Sir Cloud. He hit me up on like a uh, Twitter, just like randomly. It was like, "Hey, bro, I'm from the Bay. I've been hearing your shit. Your shit go crazy. Like, let's fuck with it." And I was like, "Okay, for sure." So I sent him like two or three beats. And the thing about him that was hella crazy is he sent the shit back like the same night. Like he had did order knocked that song, shit out, knocked crazy. It out, sent it back it was like boom. I was like, "What the fuck?" I love that. But I, I didn't. So the, that's I what I'm saying. That, it's hella bro. organic. I didn't know anything about bro. I just, you know, he's cool as shit. So I like create a relationship with him. We cool. He like come out to the V. Da, da, da. So Hell I pull yeah. up to his crib in uh, the south. Fucking pull up to his house and shit. And then we talking. And then he like, yeah, my brother finna come through. Um, he be rapping shit too. Da, da, da. I was like, oh yeah, for sure. I'm. A couple months earlier, I'm hearing 28 Grams by Sausalino and Baby Trees. I'm like watching the video go crazy. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I want to fuck with them. And the Hell future, yeah. like, these niggas go crazy. His brother walks in and saw Selena. Crazy. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Crazy. Like, this is my brother, Kel. I'm that's like, crazy. Nigga, what? Like, you're, that's your brother? Like, bro, not to be like on some weird fan shit, but yeah. like, bro, like, I, it's like Straight up. crazier than manifestation, that is crazy. bro. It's that like, is crazy. man. So, yeah, but try to stick to shit like that. But that's how I met them, man. That's how to start fucking with. Because of the networking with hella people, that's how I started fucking with hella different dolls and shit. Like, hella different producers I didn't fuck yeah. with. I didn't fuck with hella different groups of people. Like, L.O.E. Gino. Like, that's other Neft Farrell's cousin. Um, oh, yeah. See, that's hella people I'm forgetting. I that is crazy. For. Fuck, yeah, bro. But That's yeah. dope as fuck. Do you, have you, um, do you engineer at all? Uh, a little bit. I can I can record you and get you like, yeah. straight. Hell yeah. But I'm like, I got friends that are way better. Like, yeah. Shout out to my boy KT. He do all Chessy shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. That's what's shit, up. You could get him on here too. He yeah, for sure. He pushed them. I'm trying yeah. to give the producers a platform, bro, because not a lot of people show love. Real shit, bro. And like literally when you had hit me, like I was like, damn, bro, like. My boy had just said that. He's like, quietly, Mo, you fucking been producing hella fire. You, bro, like, you can go crazy, bro. I was like, bro, I just, I'm not like in nobody face about it. I'm not trying to, it's not for that. Like, I just want to make good music. Hell so yeah. that's why I take my time with it and shit. Like, I'm not hella out there. I got management and shit. Hell yeah. But I just, you know, I'm not hella out there yet because I'm not just trying to just flood the streets to everybody yep. yeah yeah for like, sure I'm trying to make good music and it's it's hard bro your yeah. shit's hard as fuck you've been coming out crazy that's yeah, all I like, yeah, yeah i gotta get you on here for sure Lee, right um do you have a go do you have a drum kit your own drum kit and if uh, not i don't got my own but we got a a, a hit team drum kit okay but mm-hmm. is it for the public or just mm-hmm. it's for the public we okay. got it out there hell it's, yeah um, i'm gonna have to get into yeah. that for sure i'll say i'll send it to you yeah yeah for sure you need that i need some i'm always looking for y'all Hell yeah, yeah. we'll we'll put that shit in the description right there. That's a come up for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, uh, is that what you usually use? Uh, For the most part, I got a, I fuck with that. It's um, some shit that I've had for years that I just kind of stick with. And then, honestly, okay, shout out to, uh, fuck, why am I forgetting, bruh? He's like one of my favorite producers right now. But is he, he from he, out he, here? He, no, he, NorCal? He's or? from NorCal, but I just, I don't know why I'm spacing on his name. 
Infinite. Oh, God, bro, damn. I fuck bro, with Infinite. Yeah. Infinite. I'm trying bro. to get him on here too. Hey, Infinite, bro. All the songs. I appreciate the fuck out of you, yeah. bro. He half of my beats that I've made is because he sent me some shit and just it's on the GP. Like he didn't Hell even, yeah. you know. And he sent me some shit. Hella shit, bro. The amount of knowledge he put out on YouTube sped my game up. So I got mm-hmm. in like I and I didn't even know he made YouTube. Bro, videos his tutorials got me so fast. I was fast, like, holy bro. shit! But um, like yeah, you could bro. get up to speed and actually make something sounding decent in mm-hmm. a week if you just binge. I binge this shit right when I seen it, mm-hmm. bro. Bro's with the shit. For real. I'm a. I'm a. Uh, to me, like a. I, I never watched the YouTube videos because I'm a sound dude. Like, never. Like, no tutorials for you. I'm a sound dude. So, like, I'll fucking I listen to other songs. Yeah. And then I like to, like, recreate. Oh, okay. Like, that's what I, when I used to try to get better, that's what I used to do all the time. Oh, yeah, bro. So, I would just, like, my favorite song, I try to recreate it. And that's hard. Figure out how they did the loops and shit. Like, that's, that's how hard to get in my shit. But, um, when can I, you, I just can found you hear out, the, like, the, key, this shit. the key in music? I kind, yeah, yeah, but I couldn't tell you what key it is, but yeah. I can find it for you. Hell and yeah, that's, that's hard. I, yeah, that's what I'd be doing. Hell yeah. What about BPM? Mm-hmm. You I can, can tell find you the BPM. Damn, I that's fucking that. hard. But I learned man. that from music, though. That's like, so it's sick, like, though. It's that's a trick dope as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's like a real trick to it. but That's that's fucking dope. Have you ever taught music? Like, are Not really, like, um, but I do be, like, showing people, like, certain shit, like, Especially with the like doing it off your phone, like I feel like it's an untapped that, market, bro. People always ask me that shit, like, bro, how are you fucking cooking these beats off your phone? I'd be like, bro, I really feel. I'd like- be like, right, if you name my last 10, 10 songs come out, they all were probably. All <laughs> That's so many, and they bro. all were probably made in like the shortest amount of time. That's they, so many to me, bro. Like, what the fuck? That's cr- is there a keyboard on there or is mm-hmm. it? It's a little yeah, keyboard. That's you could you could even do hella. Extra oh, the MIDI, yeah, way. plug the MIDI yeah, in if you want to. Shit. Yeah, but literally, bro, I'll, I'll pop it open. That's so main, like, bro. That one, the one I was showing you, I made like two days ago. I made this one, I think, this morning. That's crazy as fuck, it's bro. It's fucking insane. And the only thing I have on here is this, this hats that I had recorded in there. Hell yeah, but. Damn, that's well, crazy as just fuck. In here, literally played in here. Fucking that's so crazy, many right? to me. I was not aware. I know like people make beats mm-hmm. off their phones and shit, but I didn't know it was like that. That's some next it's level shit. Insane. Yeah. No, that's... like if you, you you wouldn't be able to tell. You really couldn't tell. That's you, hard. I'm a for And show. then once you learn, like you know, mix. That's the biggest thing. It's mixing. Mixing. Yeah. yeah. And that's what fucking um, space showed me. That space showed me. There's little shit you can do to make it sound like it really like a real ass beat in there. Give us some. Mix sauce. What's some, um, some sauce on the mix? One. Always make sure you cut your your lows out of your uh, your bases, your eight oh eights and shit. Like the the really high and then the the low. Make sure that you're cutting it right. So let's say there's the seven paramedic things mm-hmm. on the two. Make sure that the two you coming down. You coming down and cutting that off so that way that space is there for the rest of your beat. And then make sure you do that accordingly with the high sounds. So like hats and fucking all that. Make sure you're cutting the high out and then leaving the high but cutting out the low. If that makes sense. It'd be easier to show you than to kind of tell you. But it's that makes such a big difference because it leaves space in the beat for hella other shit. And it sounds different. Like it just sounds so much better. Oh, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. What about uh, your master? Do you touch your master at all? Yeah, but I got a couple presets I kind of fuck with that I like. What do you? What can you tell us for the master? Um, I'm curious. For the master, I would just make sure that when you mix it, you mix it on the three different frequencies to make sure nothing is uh, clashing or whatever. So you can go low, mid, and high and okay. mix it that way. Make sure this is if you're in FL. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, but fucking. Make sure that your nothing is clashing hella crazy, like sounding like it's like like mesh, like somebody yeah. is meshing together tin foil yeah. or something. Make sure that you're not really getting that. The static is out of it. And then you get the clearest mix. So at the end, it's like, mm, Hell yeah. turn it up and shit and throw maximizers on it and all type of shit. Hell yeah. But yeah. If, uh, if you were just starting out, you're a brand new producer, what advice would you give? You have the talent and the skills and the beats, but how would you... What, what advice would you give to get placements? Uh, network, network. Don't be afraid to get, oh, don't be afraid to give something away for free in the beginning. That's don't, a gem right there. Don't be afraid to give away something for free in the beginning. That way you can 
you, you give it away for free, I, I know it sucks. You're like, damn, I didn't get paid or whatever. But that gets you kind of out there a little bit. That way you can just like people are like, oh, you did such and such. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just make sure that you get your business straight. So make sure that you fucking get your little licensing together and you got fucking ASCAP or BMI, whatever. You got all your shit together. So if shit goes wrong, you can go straight over to fucking, uh, what's that fucking site? Audio, whatever. I forget the name of the site. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to need that. I don't, I'm not familiar. Yeah, you can I'm not go, familiar yeah, with Yeah, you this. can put DCMA claims and shit on shit, but you can do this when you've got your shit together. So explain that a little more, the DCMA. Uh, DCMA claim is I can go and say you took a beat or I sent you a beat yeah. or something. Somehow you got a beat that I created. I can go and sell them. This is my beat, and now they'll give me all the royalties for it. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's Because I have sauce. legal ownership of it. But Fuck. you gotta have all your shit in order to do that. Space put me onto that. Space Hell yeah. Space on the beat, he put me onto so much game like that. Yeah, yeah. I might need to look into that for Shelly. It's, uh, you, do you remember the, the name of the site? Uh, I, I forgot. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, I'm gonna look that sound, up. Oh, Sound Exchange. I'm tripping. Sound Exchange, okay. Yeah, that's what for it is. For like, what the fuck? Sound Exchange it, it is. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, that's, that's sauce. I was like, what the hell is the name of that shit? Yeah, man. But yeah. Yeah, that was one of my next questions. Your like your opinion on free beats, giving out free beats. Uh, but you already answered just, that. Yeah, it just depends, man. It depends on the, the the timing and the thing. Like if you've been doing this shit for a while and you already people buy beats and shit from you, stand on what you, you do. Don't give away shit for free unless you, you know you know, your family or something. Whatever. Yeah. That's different though. Everybody's gonna do that. But if you've been doing this, get your money. Oh but, yeah. If you are brand new to this shit and you got some fire beats and you don't got a rapper that's gonna hop on that you know is gonna go crazy, yeah. you don't got no connection, if you can get somebody's email or you can get somebody that you know can pass a beat off, just let that one go for free if bro not trying to yeah. you know pay for it, but he coming up with something crazy. Hell yeah. That's gonna get a look for you and people are gonna be like, who fucking made that beat? Yeah. You know, and that's kind of what you want as a producer. You just want people to think like, oh yeah, he makes slaps. Hell so yeah. I would buy something from him because I know he makes slaps. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what's that's up. the biggest deal. That's where I'm at right now. I'll be mm -hmm. like, I'm still getting started, but I'll be giving a lot of my shit free because I'm trying to get my name out. <laughs> yeah. But, um, see, but you see right now still too with this, you you got different lanes you could go now. I'm trying. Like, also another gym. I got a gym for you. Yeah. Let's do it. Collab. Collab if you can collab. Hell yeah. if you, especially if you guys. So if you collab with me or something, there's a high chance that that's gonna end up being a record with somebody. Fuck yeah. So if you collab with anybody like that, like Hell if anybody yeah. comes on the show, you know, Hell with yeah. anybody. If are you, you sending? Are you? Do you send out loops regularly? Mm -hmm. not, not regularly, but I'll send you. Hell yeah. Something. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like send, we, we, send me a pack. For we show. send each other shit. It's yeah, I'll send you a pack everybody. as well. Shit. We send each other shit all the time. But um, yeah, man, the collabing that. It's just an easier way to be like, yeah, I know this is going to get placed. Hell yeah. Because it's like, okay. It's now, all you, everyone you know and everyone mm -hmm. the other person knows. And then we got these two different markets that now you're working with. Hell yeah. Like um, Stomp Down, the one I did for PT is like that. Me and Mafioso did that, but we did that for, uh, shit, what's bro's name? He signed with Jim Jones. I forget his name. He's the homie too, though. Damn, I can't remember. Bro's is it name. uh? But he signed Sada? Up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Sada goes Sada. crazy, yeah, bro. We, we did it. Shout out Sada. We, yeah, we did it for Sada. He's the homie, too. He's man. raw, bro. The relationship raw, I got with him is hella organic, too, man. That was through Triple M. That's it. How'd you... Uh... Uh, he ended up pulling up to the studio one of those times that we were doing all the... Uh, the studio shit with yeah. the, the hit team. Yep. And you know, I, he was like, "Yeah, bro, I just got home." And it was literally when he just got home. He's like, "I just got home. I'm finna go crazy and wooty wooty woo." He's telling me the whole shit. I was oh, like, yeah. "Yeah, bro, it's good. Tap in. We're gonna be good." Bro, bro, his him. shit slaps. I fuck yeah, with Sada. His shit goes crazy, too, man. He, he got one song I really fuck with. I think it's the the vamp song with him and Jim Jones and shit. That shit. Oh yeah, crazy. that's a slap, bro. Yeah, They're like in the warehouse looking mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, that's, that's just a slap, bro. Shits. But. uh yeah, man. Well, that was for him originally, the stomp down. And then uh, I forgot how it ended up getting it to PT. But long story short, um, me and PT had locked in and he was like, yeah, uh, send me a pack. I ended up sending him like a pack of like eight. And he, he was like, bro, I'm about to put down near all these on my album. Fuck yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> he fucking recorded all of them. It was like, cool. And then um, it was like three more he didn't record on. 
So I was like, oh, shit, I wonder what he's doing with those. And then, like, he was like, oh, I put this on here. I did this. Hell and yeah. And next thing I know, I hear Stomp Down come out. Like, I didn't even know it was coming. I just It just came out one day. That's video crazy. And everything. And I was like, shit. I hit Mafioso. I'm like, hell hey, yeah. we got a song out, bro. That's hell like, yeah. it, you know? But, um, yeah, shit like that, man. Like, the beat was easy to get off. They're way easier to get off when you collab on a little shit. Hell yeah. You know? But you also, you know, you want to make sure you make your own shits too because yeah. you want people to still know, like, hey, bro. I, and you got I your own sound. Alone. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a question. So for like, you said you sent, sent out eight beats, right, mm-hmm. to PT. Did you send those other those beats to anyone else? Or is no. it just individual, exclusive yeah. pack? If, if I'm... If I'm messing with you like how I mess with PT, like PT, you know, he signed the Empire and everything. Yeah. And he paid for beats when he when he wanted to actually yeah. buy it. But he put me on the other shit. Hell like, yeah. I fucked with a lot of rappers that I fuck with now. I don't have to deal with that because they'll put me on the shit. Like, Hell yeah. Know I'm going to get my, my bread or they're going to pay me. Yeah. Like, they're not going to be weird about it. Yeah. Right? So, but. Um, I'm curious. Yeah, most no. of, so far. Well, like- for those eight beats, I want to say he paid me for uh, the majority of those. He just had paid me. But then um, the other ones, the ones we've, we've had lately, those have been all back end, I think. Hell yeah. Yeah. And I'm more so saying, like, when you, for for up, or coming, uh, up and coming producer, would you, because everyone wants exclusive beats, obviously, mm-hmm. but w- would you suggest sending beat packs to multiple, the same beat pack to multiple artists, or just try to? F- I would say, first, I would say, I would say don't really trip on the the artist unless you're sending it. It depends on the artist more than it depends on the beats that you're sending in. The explain, beat explain that. So the artist, if the artist is a better artist and you know like the artist is like gonna have gravitation, like when I was fucking PT, I knew I knew the songs I put out are gonna get played for real. Like they're gonna yeah. get played out because he's popping up and he's yeah. getting hot and shit. Um, so it's like I'm sending him exclusive shit. Like I'm not sending it to nobody else. I'm only gonna send it to him. And if I do send him something that I sent to somebody else, I'd like. That's how the song "The Think Big" got created. Mm-hmm. With him and Chippas. I had sent that to, or Chippas said he wanted it. Yeah. And I had sent it to PT already. I think. So yeah. when I was talking to PT about it, I said like, "Yeah, bro, I think Chippas wanted it, bro." So it was, and I didn't even realize they had a relationship. Yeah. So when they organically put that together, they already that knew. Song, yeah. Like, I was like, "Cool." Yeah. Because that's the best of both worlds. Yeah. I wanted both of y'all on it, but um, yeah, I don't I try not to do that with the bigger artists. With the bigger artists, you try to keep it exclusive. Like, good to know. That's good to know. Else. I wasn't like, and they'll ask you for that. Now, I want to say Chip is asking me for that, for sure. Just like, exclusive times, beats. Yeah, like, hey, make sure you don't send these and nothing like else. I'm like, okay, for sure. For sure. Like, Good you know. to know. Hell yeah. And do you um, do you sell leases or are you just doing exclusive? I do. I sell leases too, but most people don't even really buy leases off me. Like, yeah. I haven't really sold too many leases like that. Like, I've had people hit me up when, wanting a lease price for a beat. Yeah. But I'm like, nah. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not especially not for like somebody I don't like know or you don't got. So they're asking for the you. exclusive for a lease mm-hmm. price. They'll yeah. be like, hey, bro, let me get the beat for twenty five. Or they'll say, oh, I know somebody that's giving beats away. They'll they'll give me Always a pack of twenty somebody. for yeah. one hundred and fifty or something yeah. like that. And yeah. They'd be like, well, go get that, man. Like, yeah. You know, go do that. Not to say that you know. You gotta charge hella much for beats. I understand how people feel about the shit, but like it do, it takes a lot of time to learn how to do the shit Fuck correctly, yeah. to make the shit right. Like this shit is not easy, and you learn every day. It's never like over. Yeah, music is constantly bro. The way changing. the new updates yeah. too and shit like it's FL const- stem splitting. I love that. Constantly shit. changing every day. What? It's not mm-hmm. ever like I'm just gonna be the best or the top of my game forever. Like yeah, you could be making slapping beats today, and in like a month, that people be like. Uh, yeah, you know. Yep. So you gotta constantly stay trying to learn. I love this dog. Man. Um, what I know, mm-hmm. he's the mascot now. But mm-hmm. uh, what? How much do you charge for your beats? Uh, I usually charge like one fifty. Okay. Like one, but I try to sell in packs. So if you nice. buy like a couple, from I seen me, Triple M doing that, like mm-hmm. six hundred like, for the five. I like that. Mm-hmm. That's so shit. It's a little bit better to go like that, like especially when like. You're selling more beats. Like people are like, oh, I want one, two, three, and seven. I want all those. It's like, yeah. okay, well, I'll give you those for four hundred. Hell yeah! Like you know, I just throw them to you like that, so it's not hell expensive. Do you do this full time? 
Mm-hmm. Like this is your much. job? This is my job. And then I also do um like bodyguarding and shit. Nice. Yeah, but Fuck like yeah. private type shit. But Hell I saw yeah. I'd be with like rappers. For rappers? And, mm-hmm. That's so sick. Yeah, I'm trying so to get I said, on. This shit, on. I got my guard card too. Oh, okay, for yeah, sure. For shit, sure. Yeah, we can yeah, we can shit. I'm trying to get on because I fuck with that shit too. I've done some low key events and shit, but Yeah, like I I was doing Tooch, uh the Oh yeah she's coming up right now. Yeah, Tooch uh Tooch. The all star shit. Yeah. I was fucking uh doing her shit. Hell yeah. She's been going crazy lately too. Yeah, man. I just recently had to pull out of that, but that's a long story. I said another day. <laughs> right, not, not for the camera, it's good, but uh, shit, let me think. What other questions can I ask you? Um Kobe Bryant? You a fan? Yeah, man. I'm a Lakers fan all the way, bro. Hell yeah. Forever. I'll be on lately, I've been on this motivation and in interviews mm-hmm. and shit that shit i'll be hella tired after work and just like i gotta hit the gym or i gotta cook a beat and i was mm-hmm. fucking listen to kobe talk and that shit gets me amped right? hell yeah bro you ever watch that shit yeah bro <laughs> i and i had I, don't, I got a i got a video on my phone that i never posted like when he died like i was it's like trying to feel like that was motivational I was, yeah like, talking to myself but like a straight video up. like talking to people like man you gotta do this and straight this. up kobe was different <laughs> was bro like man that's my I got a I got a vintage Kobe All Star jersey as well. I have hell of these. Like, hell yeah! I got this. I got. A I'm not even a Lakers fan, but I'm a Kobe one. fan for sure. Like, I fucking uh, Kobe is like my favorite all time player, but you know, that's another story for another day. Bro's work ethic is crazy. Just because it caught my eye, because I'm been hate on him. People don't think he's as good as he was. Nah, he's the goat. Like, he's bro. the goat. He's not the goat, but he's fucking. He's the he goat up there, bro. Just because like Jordan the way he. Go, bro. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan goes Jordan crazy. The goat. Jordan, go, he goes crazy. Yeah. He to go, bro. It's by far. <laughs> it's not even close. It's scary to think of how far he's away from everybody else. Even Jordan? all the shit. Yeah, all the yeah. shit that everybody does. People want to argue LeBron, and I, I feel it. The man is hella good. He's super talented. If you were going to mark his talent level, his talent level is so fucking high. But he is wrong. it was like Jordan just, it was different. He's yeah. Like, if I want to pick somebody who's going to win, I want to win the game. I don't want to go. I don't want to, you know, look good all season. Yeah. I want to fucking win. Yeah. I'm picking Jordan every time. Hell yeah. And then the next person I'm picking is Kobe. I'm not picking LeBron. LeBron, <laughs> That's right. LeBron I'm going to pick if I just want to have a good team. If I want to be yeah. good every year and yeah. have a chance every year, I'll pick LeBron. But I can well, have a chance right. with those guys. And if I get to ch- a chance to really win, we're going to win. Hell yeah. yeah. So I'm going with those two. That's what's up. And, um, what do you do for fun? Shit, man. Uh, now, I really just be uh, fucking making beats and shit. Hell yeah. That's what I do now. Yep. Like, how, how I used to play basketball and hella shit. Oh, and, yep. Yeah, but now I don't be chilling and shit, really. Yeah. Or I be with my son. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like my Does he make shit. beats? Nah, he's little, little, man. Oh, he's yeah. Baby. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> dope, though. But we be kicking it. We watch a sports center and shit. That's what's up. How many beats do you usually make, like, in a day? On a good day? <sighs> on a good day? Like, 40. 40? Um, something like that. 40 if I'm, beats? If I'm just sitting on the phone, yeah, bro. 40 full bro, beats? Bro, I lost. Damn, bro. I'll tell you. I made at like the, at the beginning 20 was like year, pushing me, bro. At the beginning of this beats? year, I lost 300 and something beats out of this phone. Because not this phone. Devastating, bro. But you know, you get the memory That's shit. That's like my max raw. I have like 400 total, bro. <laughs> You see the memory shit in the phone, right? And I had a smaller phone. This Now I got a big ass one. I was like, yeah. hell of shit in here. But... At oh, the like, memory, yeah, the memory. I, I was on that same like shit. Three hundred, so it's it's February. That's forty two. Damn. And I haven't really sat down. I've only made beats every day, maybe like for thirty minutes or so. Like these beats, these last three beats I made in the last day. And that's I just, crazy. I just made them real quick. I wasn't yeah. sitting on it for a long. Yeah. One one was on like one was on the toilet. One was Hell just yeah. chilling, and then the other one I was like literally waiting in my car for some shit. That's fucking dope. So though. yeah, bro. But so you said forty in one day. Mm-hmm. If I'm just sitting making beats yeah, all, day all day on my phone, I could easily Make, not. That's down insane, 40. bro. Easy. easy. That's crazy. But yeah, bro. Shit. It's yeah, it's easy to make them on the phone. Do you bro. have a. Do you make a lot of throwaways, or, or is yeah, it, yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. A lot of not like hella 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 like fifty fifty. I would say no, uh, way less. Way less. Like uh, if I make forty, like eight to ten. Okay. And then they're not really throwaways, bro. They're still dope, just, huh? Yeah. I feel just, like 
they're just like they need to be reforked or you can change the sound yeah. or some shit. But I'd be trying to bang out hella different ideas. Cool. Yeah. Cause I I also be trying to branch out like. I do all these rap beats and shit. That's like people really know me for. But I got R and B shit that I've done too. Fuck yeah, R and B artists I fuck with and other realms of shit I want to move yeah. into. Like so, I'm, I'll be trying to just bang out the idea real quick and That's then dope. see what it's like, and then move on to the next shit. Because if I sit on it too long, it's just gonna be like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's some sauce right there too. Hell yeah. I forgot who I was watching. I want to say. Fuck, I want to say it was DJ Mustard early on and had an interview or something, and it was similar shit. He was like, if I sit down for an hour, the goal is to knock out like 10 beats in an hour. And Hell I was yeah. Like, Damn, that's, 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 that is like, crazy, yeah, bro. Like, he said he did something like that for like a whole summer. 10 and beats he, in one and hour. And then he had a chance to, something happened, and he had a chance with somebody, I think it was Kanye, and he was like, when he had the chance, he sent him like a beat pack of like a hundred. That's so and I crazy. Was like, but he was ready for that. Yeah. I was like, that make it easy. Like, if you run into somebody you really fuck with, I like, you, like, no, you go pick one of dope, these motherfuckers, bro. bro. Fuck yeah. I don't, I don't care if you don't like 99 of them. One yeah. Of them you're gonna yeah. Have. I was like, yeah, I can respect that. So, Hell yeah. You know, that's the whole goal. Make as much as you can. I heard someone, uh, I forget, but it was another producer interview sent their shit to Kanye and he mm-hmm. he stripped the whole beat and just took like one little melody, but you still get that placement. You're like, fuck mm-hmm. it, bro, send like, it. How do I like, feel? Kanye's like, I love this. Take every, strip everything else. It's like, fuck it, send it, bro. Like, Strip that shit. Somebody else did, uh, 40 does that too sometimes. People Strip say, everything? Mm-hmm. Hell just yeah. Just like one thing and then create a whole different beat around it. And you're like, God damn. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. But mm-hmm. fuck it, when you got that that sauce, it's there. Or if Drake wants that shit, you gotta send me, it. I'm like, yeah, I don't even Who's care. A, I'll take the placement, man. Who's some producers or, or artists that you want to work with? Uh, some artists I want to work yeah. with? Yeah. It'd be really dope to work with... Uh, out of the bay in particular. You can go anywhere or in the bay. Shit. We'll say you can I'd name like one to. from the bay and then a few anywhere. I'd like to get something with 40 just because, you know, legendary. You know, Hell yeah. I'd like to get something with 40, especially before I retire, or something with Too Short. Hell like yeah. My, it was like my favorite artist. Fuck yeah. Up, you know, that would be clean. Um, some huge. Maybe we like the Migos. That'd be raw yeah, as fuck. Yeah, Hell yeah. It's huge with them. I got some random records that like I got like that that I haven't done shit with. Hell I yeah. Just, but that's not the sound over here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bro, something like that or the Mexican OT. Now he's been going crazy yeah, lately. Yeah, bro's raw. Would, bro, I would want to get something with him. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. That's one for real. Yeah. Now nah, bro's raw man. as fuck. Mexican OT, tap in. Bro. Hell bro. yeah. That's raw as fuck. And who's your top five favorite artists of all time mm, no particular order Ludacris, eminem 50 cent uh tupac and biggie hell yeah yeah legends yeah. all legends those are like my top five bro that that's, super bowl that halftime was the play. soundtrack to me growing up right there hell yeah it's all those rappers hell yeah mm-hmm. that's dope as fuck <laughs> and um who are some producer influences to you, uh, Timbaland and Dr. Dre, easy. Timbaland, Legend, and Dr. Bro. Dre, bro. They're my favorite producers of all time. Timbaland, to this day, I'm like still trying to figure out ways to work in that little triplet combo of yeah. like hits and shit. Like, I, he's like one of my favorite producers. But Dr. Dre, the melodies and everything, like, that's what made me really like music, like musically. I was yeah, like, man, this is cool. Like, this is hella dope. I want to fuck with something like that. So, yeah, those are my two favorites by far. Oh, know, yeah. The other people are hella good, too, though. You know, shout out to, like, Dark Child, people like that, and fucking Pharrell. Pharrell goes crazy, too. too. Yeah. Um, if you didn't know anything musically, what would be the most important thing to learn first? If you're learning how to make beats or just for what? We'll say beats. <sighs> It's really nothing to learn for beats in the You don't need now, it? Not that's anymore. Now, that's crazy. there's not a formula, <laughs> yeah. but if you learn how to do what you need to do, it almost is like a formula. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've seen kids who, like, they're not musically inclined at all. Like, yeah. they're not. 
Where they make bangers that be bangers. Yeah. And yeah. in the way they make them is like formulaic. Like yeah. when you watch them make it. Click it. They click it. Like, they click yeah, it in. That's yeah, just the craziest. Click it, when they click in, it, it's crazy to me. I'm like, And Damn. then the fucking beat starts, you're like, that shit's fire. Hella hard. Like me, I gotta turn the shit on. And yeah. I could dabble. Like yeah. yeah. I can I can play stuff certain places when I already know what's up because I know the notes. Yeah. But it, most of the time. Yeah. You gotta yeah, turn it wanna, on. Yeah, yeah use I the hear ear. what I want to hear. Yeah, like, something. Okay, I want to go. Da, 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 Have you da, seen those da, da, da. Uh, recently, like the mm-hmm. the no sound beats? Yeah. Like making beats without any sound. Have you yeah. tried that? Yeah. Is it hard? I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. Yes and no. Like I said, when you know the notes, it's a little easier because you kind of can be like, I know where I'm going. Like, oh yeah. I kind of know what I'm doing right here. I'm placing yeah. this here. This is gonna sound like blah blah blah. blah. Hell yeah. So you can kind of make the beat, but it's it's. I can't make a fire ass beat like that. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. just gonna sound generic. Like, what's the fastest beat you can make? Like fa- decent beat, like that one that I just showed you. I made that in like seven minutes. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, like seven minutes. Just made the little melody and then threw the shit on there. It's like not even done. It's just got the basics. Basics, yeah. yeah. But I it's just, still a full beat. Someone yeah, could spit on that. Right exactly now. for yeah. real. Like that's but literally like a couple minutes. Like, have really you ever rapped? Quick. I used to oh, in yeah. the beginning. That's yeah. what I, that's what I was telling you before. In the beginning when I first started. Oh yeah, you put that tape together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you told me. Yeah. Fucking not no more of that. Does it still yeah. exist? That tape out? Yeah, it's, it's not out, but I exist. It, it <laughs> definitely exists. There's like a couple CDs out there. That's I, classic. I have one. I'm like, oh yeah. I just hold on to it for life. Yeah. <laughs> you still listen to it sometimes? Um, I went back and listened to it not too long ago, just because I wanted to hear it. Yeah, and like. You know, I've I've always that's everything's organic. My life's always always been organic. So like that's the best DJ way, bro. Ajani. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's I'm out of familiar. Oakland. Um, he he went to school with us when we were all like living at this Sac State apartment and hella shit. Oh yeah. And I was friends with um, my homeboy's name was Omar. He's he was going by Yo Cali at the time. He was a producer. Oh yeah. And now he's like shoots videos and photography. And that's wrong. That's what he does. But um, back then, you know, we were new to all the shit, the music shit, and uh, Johnny had, like, made a nice couple records, like, street records that were starting to pop off, and I was just starting to produce, and Omar was still producing, but starting to branch off into other shit, and, you know, and then this is after, like, right at the time that we made that tape and stuff, and then they kind of, everybody went on with their life, you know? Yeah. Shit kept happening, and now Johnny is, like, over there, uh, he just was on Good Morning America. That's crazy. Yeah, and Sway. And uh, you have a tape with him, yeah. Like not, not only have a tape with him, but um, he was like around around there. That yeah, that is crazy. That. Omar's on the tape. Omar's on. The so tape. he's on Sway as a DJ or mm-hmm. as a video? No, as a DJ. No, no he was on there like um, having a uh, an interview. That's raw as fuck. Yeah, and he made a beat live. That's so and sick, bro. I was like telling him I see him. That's fucking crazy. We got some shit that. Um, where we got putting together um, a collab that I had sent him. It's pretty crazy. But, what's uh, what's coming in the future for you? Do you have anything planned? Uh, this year, I got a couple of tracks coming out. I don't want to uh, put too much pressure on nobody or nothing. Yeah. But I got I got some tracks coming out with uh, some of the familiar faces. Hell yeah. yeah. That we were talking about earlier. And then um, I'm working on some other shit. I got a couple of placements I'm working on right now. Some big ones. So... We That's will, dope. We will see. Hopefully, I get them, which is what we're going for. But some really, really big ones. One in particular that, like, if I get it, this will it's be blow this the will top be off. The year. Yeah, this will be the year. Oh yeah. If I get this other place, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't. I, I want to say it so bad. <laughs> no, it's all good. No, all good. I already know how it feels, bro. When you're sitting on that, bro. But it'll it'll happen, bro. And this mm-hmm. shit's gonna drop in like May. So oh, hopefully, shit. right then, it'll pop off at all the same that time. Would be Fire. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. You got anything else to touch on? Any shout outs? Shit, no, man. Uh, shout out to the hit team, man. Go listen to uh, PT Moolah's last shit. Go listen to Young X's last shit. Go listen to Chippa's last shit. And um, just. Triple M, get on here. Yeah, come Triple M, come up. Uh, hell bless yeah. My boy. Nah, he Everybody. said he's going to come in March. So I was like, bet it's uh, good. Hell yeah. yeah. He said he's, he's like, I want yeah, it. Yeah, come bless my boy, man. With hell the yeah. Interview. Mo Banga, it's a pleasure, brother. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. you.